people. I hope you're all excellent. I hope you're all fine. So this is episode 21 or 20. I think it's episode 21 or 20. So yeah, guys, today's topic, we're going to do um regrets, like things that um you regret doing or you wish you'd have done better. I have a a list, like I have things that people mentioned in my own particular research, so I will just comment on them. So yeah, guys, let's go and let's see what we have on today's episode. So I want to start with, first of all, our regrets. Um, somebody said, why, we, why do we regret in life? Because we're holding onto our past, we want to change it. But it's not possible. Let it go and you can change it. A lot of people, are, I read their regrets. Some regrets are very sorrowful. And some regrets are... You you will just cry too if you have tears to cry. Or you will just feel like, oh, wow. Some things that maybe for me while I was I was trying to read these regrets, I found out like okay, there's some things that I do and maybe I will probably one day regret. So somehow people showed me later on that okay, you can do this so that later on you won't regret. So I will start with this one. Um, my deepest regret was not being able to love myself growing up. So this person, apparently, they could not love themselves. So I don't know how far she got in love in life. Then he or she realized that, okay, they, they, they neglected themselves or they never loved themselves in those years. You see, it can, it can be very tough you realizing that wow you do not give so much love to yourself and perhaps you give so much to other people or perhaps you just neglected even the other people who loved you or you gave love to other people then you could not give love to yourself and it ended up um causing you with a caused you anxiety you were depressed you were questioning like are you enough enough you see so yeah, that's the, that's the regret number one. Then someone else said, My biggest regret is letting my insecurity control my entire teenage life. This is, this is someone who probably already at an old age, you understand? So this person was going through insecurities. We can have insecurities in our lives. A lot of insecurities and sometimes people won't come to affirm or, or tell, tell you that okay you're beautiful or maybe you're smart or some other insecurities can just be caused by your friends by your own parents your family members like there are a lot of things that or maybe relationships that you have they can cause a lot of insecurities um to you so once you have insecurities insecurity there is a way you fail to live your life accordingly because you really want to fit in in some places and the places keep on rejecting you or the people keep on rejecting you because of some few things that you think like, okay, I'm not worth this or I cannot reach those particular standards or I cannot do as someone else does, you understand? So at the end of the day, we end up having those small, small insecurities or people end up having small, small insecurities that at the end of the day, they're not very important. There's things that you should just let them be because they're already there and sometimes even they're not there, but you just have to just let it go and live accordingly. So this person is regretting. He is a, have probably past 
many years have already passed and they're saying my biggest regret is letting my insecurity control my entire teenage teenage life so maybe this person could not do some things well in their teenage life they could not because of insecurities I'll be wrong okay not listening to myself at times in life when i should have so this person is trying to say um they could not listen to themselves so sometimes i usually feel like you should listen to yourself your inner self is the most correct thing that it can give it can give you answers you understand so most of the times just just listen to yourself more the most important or the most um right thing to do for those who are spiritual they do understand like the holy spirit dwells in us so if you listen to the holy spirit inside you in most cases you will go the right way because you never know what kind of spirit leads the other person so you really need to listen to your inner self so most of we human beings are are created to listen to ourselves although you can listen to other people and why will you listen to other people because there are some people who have life experience they have uh, spiritual experience they have more guidance and so you really need to listen to them then you can add up with your own um inner self what is your inner self saying this when you can just go ahead and make the decision so this particular person could not listen to themselves in times and they wish they they could listen to themselves they are in ourselves okay this one is saying i'm almost 27 my biggest regret is wasting my time with people that didn't have the best intention for me it's haunting So perhaps uh, I was listening to a podcast last night and um one woman was giving a story of her life and apparently she had um she had a friend whose friend has an aunt so the aunt would come to tell her words these words will be like now the auntie the friend aunt is telling the is telling the lady that this and that that and these these and these that and that and this auntie at the end of the day never had any good intention with this lady first she did not even want the friendship of these two because they were doing so well so this woman would literally um do things that are beyond our imagination so i would say <laughs> beyond our imagination so um just to ruin that friendship so sometimes in our lives we might have people we might have people who are who we waste a lot of time with them and they really don't have good intentions with us they really don't have good intention with us and anyone who is passing through such a particular moment i just pray that you will come out of that you come out of that place and just let's now that now that you would have already known like okay this person never had good intentions just move on and just believe that you can do much more better without that particular person or you can do much more better now that they are out of your lives so yeah this 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 thing can be very 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 stressful and it can be very very i can even imagine what's your biggest regret not staying single longer <laughs> so this particular person is saying they wish they stayed single for a very long time and i can actually understand you know like if you just jump into marriage so early there are a lot of things that you need to learn in your own single life this is not to explore like with different different people no just knowing yourself like what do you want in a man or 
in the particular person that you want a relationship with. But in this stage, we're talking about relationship, boyfriend and girlfriend, wife and husband. So this is marriage. This person is probably talking about marriage, not staying single longer, so what they wish. So in that whole process, you have a lot of things to learn about yourself. What are your likes, what you don't like, what you like, what you don't like, how you want to be treated by your other you understand so i can i can i can i can understand this person they wish because maybe they never knew like things inside uh, the marriage or anything it could have been more stressful or it could have been easier if she knew what she was going into understand um this one is saying i'm 27 and i regret letting things go giving things up too easily such as relationship and goals this particular person is trying to say okay they gave up too easily they gave up too easily of which they would have tried in a more better place i would say so don't let go of things very easily don't let go of things so easily try give it a try just once you feel like you're okay i'm tired I, I don't think i can and you feel like this thing is worth my try and you actually know by the end of this if it's successful this thing is going to give me happiness this thing is gonna be like one of the best things that i've ever done in my life so i think so i think the only thing that you can do is not to give up too easily you will feel like okay this i'm tired take a break relax take a break and get back to it do it again and again keep on trying 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 you're trying for one year two years that is not trying some people have tried five years some people have tried 10 years and at the end of the day they got the results so try try your best like don't give up too easily on stuffs just once you feel like giving up, that's the time where you should see it and think, okay, I should do this, I should do that, or seek for counsel, or, you know, you understand that way. So it will be so easy. It will be so easy for, 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 so this person is, is regretting and they're 27, um, um, still young. Okay. This person is trying to say, my age is relevant and by but my by far biggest regret is not letting my grandma know how much i loved her and that deep down i cared about her with all my soul i can actually relate with this person you know sometimes um we need we need to we need to let some people know that we love them we need to show them by action that we love them i can actually resonate like with action sometimes we are avoiding a lot of stuff because we are afraid that we are gonna act in a wrong way but i just hope that we all know like i'm somehow learning how to love things and um appreciate the things that i have in life so i can actually understand when someone's saying they have lost their their loved ones and they wish they would have shown so much to to them and let them know that they love them words are words i'm not saying words are not enough but words words mean a lot once there is action in it so yes mm, uh, saying no when i should have said yes saying yes when i should have said no you see they a lot of us will say yes in places where we are supposed to say no and sometimes when the moments that i said yes i'll be like the moments that i said yes i'll be like oh I wish I said no. But once I think as far that I've gone, 
and that day i said no it has really helped me so you should know the time when you're supposed to say yes and you should know the times when you're supposed to say no this will bring you into a lot of regrets that i have read before like some people saying that i wish my insecurities i wish i would have win my insecurity i wish i would have won my anxiety and everything and done this and that you see so once you know the place to say yes and the places to say no just choose yourself over anything and sometimes you don't need you know giving is caring so sometimes you don't even need to 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 say no to something that you could have said yes so let's learn how to say yes sometimes i usually think like okay maybe i would have said yes to that particular friend what would have happened like i have two messages that are being sent on my phone and i actually don't even know what to answer because i have a lot of answers to give these people but i i'm thinking okay what will what will what will i what will i tell them and why am i saying no is it because i feel somehow about these people or is it i'm saying yes because i don't want to them to feel like i have this thing that i'm feeling inside me so i will just sometimes leave so yeah sometimes let's let's let's, let's just know the places to say yes and the places to say no to avoid further regrets in our lives um okay this one i can relate i was 24 25 when my dad died and it still haunts me how little time i spent with him yes i can i can actually think about i can actually think about i think i also regret like me with my dad we had a good relationship i knew my dad loved me from day one there's no questioning about that but um i never spent a lot of time with him i used to run away when he comes home sometimes <laughs> so um, um yeah so i really wish i spent more time with him <laughs> I won't cry. <laughs> okay. Mm. Okay, this one is saying my insecure, my biggest regrets are those moments when I'm truly having fun, but my insecurity ruins everything. <laughs> yes like there are sometimes that we, I, I myself i can relate i can relate to this so there are sometimes when i'm deeply having fun but that feeling of ah i might i might faint or i might get an accident as i'm doing it you understand so at the end of the day i'll be like hmm, i won't do this but I regret why other people come out alive. Why am I thinking that I might die in the process or anything ugly can happen to me? So I can actually understand. Sometimes our, insecuri our insecurities ruin a lot of stuff for us. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. My biggest regret is loving someone who didn't love me back. I pushed everyone else away. For this one person, they ended up hurting me more than I could ever imagine. I don't pray this to anyone, especially like if you love someone, then this person, the, and this, and this person is, is, ends up betraying you or hurts you. I just don't pray for anyone, you understand? Because you've already chose to love this person. Because you've already chose to love this person. Then this person is hurting you. And now that you've pushed each and every one away, because of this particular person, they end up hurting you. So you, you really feel like, okay, I have pushed everyone away. I don't have anywhere to go. I actually cannot pray this for anyone. I cannot pray for anyone. And I myself, I cannot think about it. I can't want <laughs> Okay. My biggest regret is developing feelings for one guy, my friend. And when I tried to confess it in front of him, he made fun of me, my skin, my body. That was the time I understand how difficult everything 
Yes. This person is, he confessed, he or she confessed her feelings. Okay. The person did not, did not say that again. I actually think it's a woman. So, yeah. I actually think maybe, okay, okay. My guy friend. I hope, I hope it's a guy also. I hope it's a girl or I hope anything. So this person apparently was surely shamed, I would say, because it's about color, it's about body, it's about making fun of someone, you know. Please, people, if you don't love someone, can you please just say it in a good way, not to hurt their feelings? Because some people will just say unnecessary words just to hurt other people and the person who has been told okay you are not loved or anything let's just understand and to avoid further you know there are some things that we can avoid someone confessing that they love you is not a sin it's actually a very good act of love it's a very like this person is just amazing because there are some people who want to confess whether they love you or not they will just do what they have to do without asking you this person respects you that's why they decided to come and tell you that they love you don't shame them if you're going to say no because they are black if you're going to say no because they are white just don't highlight all these cases to them they appreciate and you wish you would have accepted but it's enough for that particular time so yes guys here someone is saying like i have one thing to say to everyone here who have a regret forgive yourself you're only human i hope you also as you're resonating with each and everything right now you can just forgive yourself and i think this is gonna be one of the shortest because i wasn't talking about myself but Next time, I'll try to write my few regrets and I'm doing an episode. So for today, bye-bye. And I hope you enjoyed my episode. Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share it to your friends. And just remember, above all things, I love you guys. And I really appreciate my 156 subscribers. By the time that I was doing this video, I had 156. And the 155 going to 156 subscriber. I thank you so much. And I love you. This is a shout out to that person. I really don't know the person, I promise you, I don't know the person, but I really appreciate, you really made me happy. And also, thank you for everyone who is giving me, um, who is giving me like, wow, I really love your episode, I've watched it, they're trying to tell me, oh, I had this and this and that, and they will comment about it. Guys, I really appreciate, and please don't forget to leave your comments down there, it really means a lot to me, you just don't know. Thank you for appreciating each and everything that I do, and hope to see you again. Bye. Bye.